Hello everyone, it's me Bryson P. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a new country and a whole new topic. And the reason why is because I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos now because I've had this postcard for a couple weeks and I'm just now getting to it even though I've mentioned it in a few videos. I've decided to make a video because of the topic and because of everything that correlates. Here is the postcard that I've talked about from Germany, from Frankfurt. On the back of it, there is a crossword, and if you can tell, I have completed it and filled it all out and did it. This being from Germany, I wanted to make a video about Germany. So I would like to tell you some of my back history before we get into the video and the reaction, and it will kind of explain why I chose the Berlin Wall as my first reaction and as my first view into Germany. My best friend growing up, his mom is German. The entire time that I was growing up, you know, she would be up all night. I remember she would just stay up all late hours of the night and be on the phone. I wouldn't understand a word she was saying because she'd always be talking in German. But what it is is she was, of course, staying up out all hours of the night here so that way she could talk to her family and friends there whenever it was daytime uh, on the, your side going out to eat with them sometimes uh, we would go and have schnitzel or just different things and I really couldn't tell you anything other than that uh, food but I have had a few different things because of having that relationship and, and that friendship but the most important reason that I am making this reaction video today about the Berlin Wall on top of giving you a reaction for taking so long to get your postcard announced. Also, I need to put it on the wall. There we go, got it on the wall. But my dad and my mom, they both served in the military. They were both in the army. But my dad was in Germany whenever the Berlin Wall was there. And he was actually there whenever the Berlin Wall was torn down and came down. Well, actually, we actually have a piece of the Berlin Wall. Well, I say we, but he has a piece of the Berlin Wall, and he brought it back with him from whenever he was there, and, and it came down while he was there patrolling the wall, along with, uh, there's like a news article, a little just a little clipping that had his name and some stuff in it that he saved, you know, as a memento souvenir, different things. But I remember those different stories and have heard different things. So that's kind of a, a personal, a lot of stuff that I don't know, but have always kind of heard stories about I just don't know and and I want to pay kind of a homage video uh, I don't know if my dad watches any of my videos but I've seen something that he had posted earlier today about uh, my grandfather which would be his dad so today is my grandfather slash his dad's birthday I got the picture up for you guys to see and the post that he had put along with this says happy birthday to my dad he would be 81 today I came across this picture of my dad in Vietnam doing two of his favorite things, barbecuing and drinking a beer. This picture is from 1966 to 1967 time frame. He had just made Staff Sergeant slash E6. Love you and sure as hell miss you. So as a way for me to also kind of say, you know, happy birthday to my grandfather who passed away quite a few years ago. Then and also and making this video kind of as a thank you to my dad and just kind of you know, just something for him as well. So this is all I really know about Germany. You guys now are fully up to speed on everything I know about Germany and the Berlin Wall. I don't know what kind of reaction I'm going to get from you guys or what kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into right now other than this is why I'm doing it. So here we go. Forget not the tyranny of this wall nor the love of freedom that made it fall. Unknown graffiti on the Berlin Wall. In the early hours of August 13, 1961, East German construction workers, flanked by soldiers and police, began tearing up streets and erecting barriers throughout the city of Berlin and its surroundings. This night marked the beginning of one of history's most infamous dividing lines, the Berlin Wall. Construction on the wall continued for the next decade as it cut through neighborhoods, separated families, and divided not just Germany, but the world. To understand how we got to this point, we have to go back to World War II. America, Britain, and France joined forces with the Soviet... 
Of course, what the statement I said earlier about that's all I know about Germany and the Berlin Wall, that's that's not what... I, I obviously know more about Germany. Of course, I know about World War II and things like that. However, when it comes to, say, the Berlin Wall and it really comes to just German history, I don't know a actual lot. So this is just somewhere for me to begin as I continue exploring other countries, other parts of the world, and continue just just this growth and growth of knowledge that's the whole point to all of this in this whole channel and for you guys to learn my perspectives and to see where my points of view come from as well as you know a u.s citizen born and raised here in the united states in, in kentucky you know it would be amazing because i've heard some stories that my dad has told me of course over the years and he has showed me some things on, on youtube we've looked them up over the years of different places where he has been it it would be really neat one day to possibly achieve you know a level of of capability through youtube and through you know this channel that i could possibly take my dad over back to germany and to berlin and be able to go some of the places where he went and have him show me and it would just be something really neat that that would be also a an experience for him you know it'd be neat to do something like that you know surprise him with with a trip to go back to that you know union against the axis powers after they defeated nazi germany each of the victorious nations occupied part of the country the division was meant to be temporary but the former allies found themselves at odds over their visions for post-war europe while western powers promoted liberal market economies the Soviet Union sought to surround itself with obedient communist nations, including a weakened Germany. As their relations deteriorated, the Federal Republic of Germany was formed in the West, while the Soviets established the German Democratic Republic in the East. The Soviet satellite countries restricted Western trade and movement, so a virtually impassable border formed. It became known as the Iron Curtain. In the mm -hmm. former German capital of Berlin, things were particularly complicated. Although the city lay fully within the East German territory of the GDR, the post-war agreement gave the Allies joint administration. So America, Britain, and France created a democratic enclave in Berlin's western districts. While East Germans were officially banned from leaving the country, in Berlin it was simply a matter of walking or riding a subway, streetcar, or bus to the western half then traveling on to West Germany or beyond. This open border posed a problem for the East German leadership. They had staked a claim to represent the communist resistance against Hitler and portrayed Western Germany as a continuation of the Nazi regime. While the right. US and its allies poured money into West Germany's reconstruction, the Soviet Union extracted resources from the East as war reparations, making its planned economy even less competitive. Life in East Germany passed under the watchful eye of the Stasi, the secret police whose wiretaps and informants monitored citizens for any hint of disloyalty. While there was free healthcare and education in the East, the West boasted higher salaries, more consumer goods, and greater personal freedom. By 1960... I've heard a lot of stories over years of how a lot of the back and forth, back and forth, throughout the day because of these types of things and you know of course different stories of, of just and I'm sure some stories that I've heard you know have been exaggerated but it, it, a lot of these things that he's talking about of course I, I am, am aware of you know I mean this is kind of things that we, I mean I feel like we should know so this is not anything new at least to me and that's a good thing right I mean it's of course a good thing to have at least this knowledge about 3.5 million people, nearly 20% of the East German population, had left, including many young professionals. To prevent further losses, East Germany... Since we're talking about my dad and, and we're, we're discussing, you know, the things about him right now, I, I want to point out there's a lot of random knowledge that I know and a lot of things that, that for, as I learn them and explore them, they will start to click more and there's things that I will come across that will just randomly begin to that a lot of the reasons why I honestly enjoy exploring and and I've had many of you comment many of you ask over the the course of, of my channel why am I so 
interested in like exploring other cultures why am i so ex- interested maybe just in scandinavia or maybe just in just really my growth and knowledge part of it also could be that whenever i was in school if i didn't have homework or if i was trying to get out of homework or trying to you know uh if i was supposed to you know say do homework right and it, on average it takes you an hour to do it but i would rush through it it wasn't good enough my dad would make me either have homework or do something productive school-wise or he would get one of the couple world encyclopedias that we had and he would make he would open it up to just a random part and find a section to it and say here you go and you're going to read this section of the world encyclopedia for this amount of time and then and then i will and then and then we're going to test you over it and and you are going to have to answer the questions because if you don't then you're going to have to go back and, and do it again i don't know how many times i had to go back and read the world encyclopedia i had to read that world encyclopedia so many times oh. decided to close the border and that's where the Berlin Wall came in. Extending for 43 kilometers through Berlin and a further 112 through East Germany, the initial barrier consisted of barbed wire and mesh fencing. Some Berliners escaped by jumping over the wire or leaping from windows, but as the wall expanded, this became more difficult. By 1965, 106 kilometers of 3.6 meter high concrete barricades had been added, topped with a smooth pipe to prevent climbing. Over the coming years, the barrier was strengthened with spike strips, guard dogs, and even landmines, along with 302 watchtowers and 20 bunkers. A parallel fence in the rear set off a 100-meter area called the Death Strip. There, all buildings were demolished and the ground covered with sand to provide a clear line of sight for the hundreds of guards ordered to shoot anyone attempting to cross. Nevertheless, nearly 5,000 people in total managed to flee East Germany between 1961 and 1989. Some were diplomats or athletes who defected while abroad, but others were ordinary citizens who dug tunnels, swam across canals, flew hot air balloons, or even crashed a stolen tank through the wall. Mm -hmm. Yet the risk was great. Over 138 people died while attempting escape some shot in full view of West Germans powerless to help them. The wall stabilized East Germany's economy by preventing its workforce from leaving. Not many, but I've heard a few stories that my dad has told me about different about different things throughout, you know, his patrols and whatnot of of the Berlin Wall that, that can be similar to it of different things or things that he's heard seen while he was there. But tarnished its reputation becoming a global symbol of communist repression. As part of reconciliation with the East, the Basic Treaty of 1972 recognized East Germany pragmatically, while West Germany retained its hope for eventual reunification. Although the Eastern regime gradually allowed family visits, it tried to discourage people from exercising these rights with an arduous bureaucratic process and high fees. Nonetheless, it was still overwhelmed by applications. By the end of the 1980s, the liberalization of other Eastern Bloc regimes caused mass demonstrations for free travel and demands for democracy. On the evening of November 9, 1989, East Germany tried to defuse tension by making travel permits easier to obtain. But the announcement brought thousands of East Berliners to the border crossing points in the wall, forcing the surprised guards to open the gates immediately. Rejoicing crowds poured into West Berlin as people from both sides danced atop the wall, and others began to demolish it with whatever tools they could find. Although the border guards initially tried to maintain order, it was soon clear that the years of division were at an end. Now that I didn't know. I didn't know how that happened, like how it ended. After four decades, Germany was officially reunified in October 1990, and the Soviet Union fell soon after. Today, parts of the wall still stand as a reminder that any barriers we put up to impede freedom, we can also break down. 
I really like that. I, I personally enjoyed that, and, and I thought it was a good start for me. You know, I don't think it was anything too intrusive. And, and you guys got definitely a, a funny and, and interesting story, and so a little bit more of my history, and a little bit more about kind of why I am the way that I am, and why some of my interests are the way that they are. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this was enjoyable. I, I really do. I will be getting a 2022 Scandinavia travel trip update. I'm about two weeks b behind on it. I will be, of course, looking at other countries within Europe. As I mentioned, I do have quite a bit of an interest in all the countries and, of course, outside of Europe as well, the United Kingdom and everything else. So even looking here, you know, we'll eventually make our way out of Europe and into Asia, into, uh, you know, uh, just all the different continents. We'll make our way around the world. I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever time it is that you see this. It's me, Bryson P., and goodbye.